New Orleans, a city that's classy yet crazy. Like our heroes, Doug and Doug. Two best friends on one big mission. To find the secret behind the magic of Southern comfort. The secret of Southern comfort is the music in the party. Look around you, man. This is where it all goes down. This is New Orleans, baby. This is where Southern comfort was invented. Can't you hear it? Can't you feel it? Can't you smell it? Yes, I do smell it. I smell catfish, jambalaya, and crawfish. I love you. Honestly, I do. But sometimes I feel like I just met you at the airport. You know the secret of Southern comfort is the tradition and the food. It's the loaded diet, man. I got news for you, bub. We have less than two hours to find the secret. Really? And why is that, Doug? Because that's how long me, myself, and Irene is. I see. We, we need, need a drink. drink. Exactly. You can't possibly fathom how many historic meetings took place here. Andrew Jackson and Jean Lafitte. Miles Davis and Louis Armstrong. Pete and repeat. M.W. Heron probably stood right here. Who's M.W. Heron? Oh, wait, that point guard from B.C.? Who is M.W. Heron? Kind of a donkey doesn't know the inventor of Southern Comfort, a.k.a. Cuffs and Buttons, a.k.a. the Grand old Drink of the South. Heron found his fame here, but ironically, he was from St. Louis. St. Louis? Was he a blues fan? No, he wasn't, but he would have been. I know he would have been, would have been, would have been. Look at me. I'm here in New Orleans. Soko in my glass. In a tree. Talking to you, brother. Scary, isn't it? I gotta work with this guy. Will Doug and Doug rise to the occasion and find the secret of Southern comfort? Stay tuned.